Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Learn How series. Uh, last time I did a basic crochet stitch, and uh, this time we're going to start learning how to cross stitch. This is something I learned how to do when I was 11 or 12 years old. My mom taught me how to do it, and I have really enjoyed it ever since. And I've done some really cool, uh, like I've done a Gryffindor crest and a, uh, a few Doctor Who cross stitches and some really cool stuff. But we're going to start learning with this ladybug. It's really simple. And so today, I'm going to start off by teaching you some basic things uh, that you need to know when you first start to cross stitch, to learn to cross stitch. And if I can get this open, everything we need to do this ladybug is in this little packet here. And so if you buy a kit, it's going to come with everything you need. So we have some instructions over here. And we have our pattern and then we have our materials and there, these are some variation or this is a bonus actually another pattern that you can do after you've done this one we're going to keep the pattern because we're going to need that uh, what we have here is our fabric or what we'll call ada ada fabric you can cross stitch on all different types of fabric but this is the most common and the first thing you're going to want to do after you get your needle threaded and everything is find the center point. And the way you do that is fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And you find your center uh, point right there. And so since this has already been folded pretty much in half, we kind of already have the center point. So that'll help us out a little bit uh, when we get to that. You also have in here a cross stitch needle which when you look at this needle compared to others, what you'll notice is that it has a bigger eye on it. It makes it easier to get the thread through there. And then the tip of it is usually dull because you don't really need a sharp tip because you have holes in your cloth. Okay. And then you have the thread or like I just called it the floss. This is embroidery floss. So we have two colors for this pattern, red and black. So the first thing you want to do is separate out your colors. So the first thing you're going to want to know how to do is the best way to thread your needle. And there are different ways you can do it. Uh, and I encourage you to look them up and find out which way works best for you. But I'm going to show you the way that has worked best for me. And since the majority of this pattern is red, and you see that X there, that's your middle point. You can look at these blue arrows. They point to the middle of the pattern. That's what we want when I was talking about folding your cloth in half and folding it again. That's your middle point. So that's where you'll usually start when you're doing your cross stitch. Once you get a little more advanced, you can actually start counting over and down and say starting like right here or something. But when you're first starting, you want to start right in the middle. When you look at this embroidery floss, you'll notice, if I can get it to focus on it, that it's multiple strands. And a basic cross stitch is done with two strands. So a lot of times you'll pull out two of these strands, pull them out like that. However... The way this works best for me that I've found is I pull out one strand like this. And usually mine, when I cut it myself, it's a little bit longer than what we have here. So this is going to go a little bit faster than what I usually do. Or we're going to use it up a little bit faster. So then I take both ends and I put them together. I get them together like this right here. So then I grab that end and I pull it until I get down to the other end where we'll have a loop like that. So then what we want to do is get this loop as small as we can. It's kind of hard to see and I'll get it a little bit smaller than that. But we're going to feed that loop through our needle and hopefully I can do this through the camera. I missed it. Okay, let's see. So we're going to feed this through. 
the eye of the needle like that. And then we're going to pull it through and then take your needle and push it you're not pushing it through anything but put it through the loop like that and then grab your thread down here needle and pull and what that does is it gives you a little little knot right there and so now you have two strands of thread on your needle and the advantage of this is if you put two strands of thread through here and just kind of fold it over, then it can easily come off your needle at any time. Like when you just pull too hard or something, you do it this way, it's not coming off your needle. Now as far as starting, there are a couple different ways you can start with a waist knot or without a waist knot or, or other things like that. But the way I like to start is not with a knot. We've got our midpoint, which is right about here. So that's the middle of our of our pattern. We're going to look back here. And we're going to start where this X is, and we're going to see it's going to go one, two, three, four. Then we have two blacks and two reds. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start one down from that. So we've got our middle one. We're going to go one stitch down. One, two, and we have four, five, six, seven, eight stitches across. Okay. So if this is our middle right here. We're going to start one down from there. What I like to do is stick my, we're going to say this is the front. The back is, of course, on the other side. I like to stick my needle in where I want to start and kind of wiggle it around a little bit to make the hole there a little bit bigger so I can easily see it. So then I'll go on the other side, find that hole I just made. Looks like that's it. And it looks like I was off by one. So that hole I just made right there. There we go. Okay. Pull the thread around to that side and we'll pull it through. And this is starting our first stitch. And now across stitches, you're going to go from bottom left to top right and keep doing that down the row of all your stitches. And then you're going to come back and go from the bottom right to the top left. So we're going to start our first stitch like that, bottom left to top right. And I like to turn my work over. And you'll see you'll have a little tail. You want to leave a little bit of a tail here, about like that, and take this thread here and catch it with your with your thumb, get it kind of together, and then you want to go right over that to the hole right below where you came out. And it's going to catch that tail. And then when we flip our work back over, you're going to see you came out right where you need to be. So you went bottom left to top right, and then you came back out just under that. So now we're going to go bottom left to top right again. This is stitch number two. We're going to flip our work over, push the pattern back there. And then we want this to catch that tail again. So what's happening here is these stitches are going to hold this, this floss here in place. So we don't have to worry about it coming loose. So we've got eight stitches and we'll go ahead and finish up the rest of these real quick. And normally when I get about three stitches down, I'll cut off this tail about right there. And so it'll make it nice and neat on the back. I don't have a pair of scissors here with me, so I'm not going to cut it off right now. But we'll finish these up. And then when we get to the other side, we will continue on.
Now that we've gone down and we've completed eight half stitches, this is just bottom left to top right is a half stitch because that's half of a full cross stitch. So I finished all eight down the row. We're going to go back and finish the stitches. So now we're going from bottom right to top left. It's exactly the same thing that we were doing before. We're just going backwards. So as we finish these, you'll see that makes an X. That is a complete cross stitch. So then this next one, there's another complete cross stitch. And we'll keep doing this until we have all eight completed. Now, when you get almost back, almost finished, you have to kind of make a decision. If we're going up to this next row next, which was four across, skip two, and then do two more, we're going to want to start right here on the bottom left, just like we did before. If we come out bottom and go across to finish this stitch, we won't be able to start there. We'll have to start up here in the top. What I like to do here is instead of coming out on the bottom and going back across, I like to come out across here and go down. So what I'll do is I'll flip it over. Instead of crossing back over, I'll come out here. I'll go sideways, pull it out, and then I'll go back in down here. So instead of bottom right to top left, I'm going top left to bottom right. And now, I can go back up here and I'm ready to start the next row. So that's how you do a basic cross stitch. Next time we'll discuss a little, get a little more in depth about this and finish up a little bit more of this ladybug. So if you guys enjoyed this lesson, uh, enjoyed this video, uh, consider leaving me a like, you know, that thumbs up there. Uh, if you want to keep, keep track of the new videos I post and, you know, keep up with the progress on this cross stitch, then just click my face down here and subscribe. And then I'm going to put a couple more videos right up here at the top. So you guys can keep yourself entertained for a little while longer. Thanks for watching till next time, guys.